hello friends uh, welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, maximum power transfer theorem with dependent sources circuits involving dependent sources so here this is the circuit here and it has been asked to find the value of rl such that maximum power will be transferred to the load and the value of that maximum power so again the usual Thevenin equivalent circuit approach we have to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit and then we can proceed so first VTH calculation so we have to again redraw the circuit okay 3 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm, minus plus 120 V0 1 kilo ohm 3 kilo ohm this is V0 voltage drop across 1 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm this is 40 kilo ohm this is open this is the Thevenin voltage so here the important thing is this this is again a voltage dependent voltage source this is the important parameter V0 okay so here our objective is to find VTH now let us say in these two closed loop let the current flow be equal to I1 and let it be here I2 okay so let us apply KVL in these two loops okay so when we will apply KVL in the first loop here we will get 8 minus 3i1 make sure you have the polarity correct okay this is plus minus okay it minus 3i1 minus 1 into i1 which is basically i1 is equal to 0 that implies 8 minus 4i1 is equal to 0 that implies i1 is equal to 2 milliampere okay milliampere because the resistances are in kilo ohms now an important thing to notice here is this v0 is the voltage drop across this one kilo ohm resistor so v0 is equal to one kilo ohm into one milliampere okay so v0 is equal to 1 volt okay v0 is equal to 1 volt sorry sorry uh, v0 is equal to this is 2 milliampere okay this is 2 milliampere my mistake I by mistake I rooted 1 milliampere so it is 1 kilo ohm into 2 milliampere which is 2 volt v0 is equal to 2 volt so here we have got i1 and we have got the important variable v0 is equal to 2 volt now when we'll apply okay let us write it down v0 is equal to 2 volt here now we will apply kvl in this outer loop okay we'll apply kvl in this outer loop so here we will get the polarity like this this is plus minus minus 120 v0 minus 10 i2 minus 40 i2 is equal to 0 that implies v0 will substitute minus 120 into 2 minus 50 i2 is equal to 0 that implies 
minus 240 minus 50 i2 is equal to 0 that implies okay 240 minus 50 i2 is equal to 0 that implies i2 is equal to minus 240 by 50 which is equal to minus 24 by 5 this will be milliampere so we have got the value of i2 now an important thing here is that the thevenin voltage is the voltage across this 40 kilo ohm resistor okay the voltage drop across this 40 kilo ohm resistor the same i2 current is flowing through it so vth is equal to 40 i2 which is equal to 40 into minus 24 by 5 so 8 which is equal to minus 24 into 8 which is equal to 32 16 minus 192 volt so 192 volt vth so we got vth is equal to minus 192 volt so let us write it down here vth is equal to minus 192 volt so we have already calculated the thevenin voltage minus 192 volt now we have to determine the thevenin resistance so for that we have to redraw the circuit deactivating the independent sources so here we have this 8 volt independent voltage source so we short circuit it so this will lead to something inter interesting okay we'll see how so this is short circuited this is 3 kilo ohm this is 1 kilo ohm this is the dependent voltage source this is 10 kilo ohm this is 40 kilo ohm ok now here as we have deactivated the independent voltage source 8 volt this is 0 here 0 volt so because of this no current will flow through this 3 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistors so this V0 is equal to 0 volt voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor is 0 so as this is 0 this 120 V0 okay 120v0 this value is also equal to 0 so this also gets short circuited so in effect what we get is that this much this whole circuit it gets out this also gets short circuited here so we get the effective circuit as only this much portion is important for us right now okay so we know that for that we have to connect an external excitation voltage one volt here so the same thing will happen here also one volt and we have to find this current i this current i and rth is equal to one volt by i ampere okay again pay attention as the 8 volt is short circuited this whole closed loop no current flows as a result of that v0 is equal to 0 as v0 is equal to 0 
120 v0 is equal to 0 so this part gets short circuited this is of not any it is not related to this whole closed loop okay so this goes out of the question now this much is our analysis portion 120 v0 is 0 because v0 is 0 so it gets short circuited now in case of thevenin resistance determination we have to use an external excitation be it a 1 volt voltage or a 1 ampere current so here we are using a 1 volt voltage source rth is this now we have to determine i so here the node voltage is 1 volt i is basically equal to 1 by 40 plus 1 by 10 milliampere so this is equal to 1 plus 4 equal to 5 by 40 milliampere so rth is equal to the reciprocal so this will be equal to 40 by 5 which is equal to 8 kilo ohm because the current unit is in milliampere so rth is in, will be in kilo ohm so if it would have been in ampere it would have been in ohm so here as it is in milliampere so it is kilo ohm so rth is equal to 8 kilo okay now we have got vth we have got rth now we have to determine the maximum power transfer now as per the statement of maximum power transfer theorem for maximum power transfer to the load resistance it should be equal to the thevenin resistance which is equal to in this case 8 kilo ohm and the maximum power transfer the value is equal to vth square by 4 rth which is equal to minus 192 whole square by 4 into 8 kilo ohm let us convert it into ohm so that would be equal to so let us calculate so it is equal to 1.152 watts this is PRM max okay